Today, we're going to use a toy train set to break the laws of physics and do something that nobody should ever, ever do. The beauty of a game like this is it's so simple. Place train tracks wherever you like. You can even leave the room. And then once you're proud of your beautiful, beautiful creation, you can actually get in a train and take it for a ride. Which is where the fun starts to really come in. We could go at up to max speed and straight off the track into oblivion, leaving the world far behind. So then naturally, you can create some pretty interesting structures. Not sure if we're going to be able to make this corner at high speeds, but we're going to find out. It looks a lot more intimidating from down here on the ground. I'm also not sure how strong this little train is and what kind of hills it can climb up. So far it has no problem with this, although we're not towing anything behind us. Wow, this is actually really quick and down we go. That's less dramatic than we thought. So we can still do much better. What we can potentially do is make a little jump at the bottom, whereas the train is going to actually just follow my track along. Now for a little added extra excitement, we've got a whole bunch of other things we can play with. So you can find out what happens if you crash a train at very high speeds into a building. And I feel like we could make this ramp a little bit bigger. And we go through it. I did notice that the train does get faster the further down slope it goes, so we need a bigger slope. And I do love a game that makes it really easy to build really big things. Now that I see that, I can only see what happens if the train runs out of track up there. And this to see how it handles all these weird corners. Motion sickness warning. I also have a horror. Okay, I think we're getting somewhat close to the top. Uh, there it is above us. Just a few more corners. I've made a wonderful roller coaster. Coming around the corner and off into oblivion we go. Everyone on board is going to die. I do like how when I'm building it, it has that little bump at first. And it just kind of, you know, smooths it out. Because no one would want a bumpy train ride. And since we're getting a little bit out of hand, we're just going to put a nice tight, like, 90 degree corner in. Uh, the people should love that. It just keeps it exciting. Since you don't get any exercise riding a train, you might as well at least get your heart rate up a little bit. And at this point, it's just going to drop gently back down onto its own track, where the cycle will repeat itself again. I mean, it's just me on this train anyway, so what bad things could possibly happen? Alright, we're at the top of the slope. Let's see how much speed we pick up. We're going faster and faster. We might need to put a little bit more weight behind us, but here comes those awfully dangerous turns. Going around. Okay, it handled those just fine. And jump onto the track. Kablamo. And it actually works. That's strange. Usually my ideas do not work at all. So this thing's just going to roll for an eternity, doing what it does. Add its little high speed maneuver to go down the track, and then it's going to start again. Okay, this time I gave it just a little jump to help it get back up the slope again a little bit. Perfect. I've also discovered some new things uh, that could be of great interest. A booster. Okay, we've got some work to do. I have confirmed the trains do run into each other. I cannot push through the trains in front of me despite my best efforts. So that means we need to launch the trains in front of it first. So now I've got five different trains going on this one single track. One of them has a passenger card on it. And even it can jump through the air. We just need to put some passengers on there. Stop at a platform with waiting passengers to pick them up. Yes, I think I will. <laughs> There's lots of room for passengers on that thing. We just need to cut into the track here somewhere and then we'll put a passenger platform on. Uh, I think children are probably allowed to uh, ride the train by themselves. The trains aren't running anymore because they, you know, fell into oblivion. Where are you guys going? Oh, you're trapped anyway. Good. They're just so excited to get on the train. Uh, I've somehow already broken the trains and that they're driving backwards when I try and drive them forwards. But as long as the passenger train is going forward, that's the only one I'm worried about. Now let's hope it actually works and stops and picks up the children. It flew by them. Well, that's what you get for being small, idiots. I decided we needed an overhaul, so I'm just building a fresh track and we're going to go a little bit higher with this one. Alright, this is the final destination of them going all the way up there and coming maddeningly fast down all that. Hopefully they survive the loop-de-loops and eventually right here. Okay, I seem to have gotten the passenger carriers more or less attached. Now we just need some of these things uh, that will hopefully run to their platform as soon as they're allowed to. Yeah, look at them go. They're very much in a hurry to get on the Doom train. Alright, the cart seem to be following me. Let's see if we can figure out how to make this work. Okay, we gotta stop right here. Get on, idiots. Are they getting on? They're moving. Oh, there we go. You guys have no idea what you've done. We'll take it nice and slow for the first corners to see a good look at all of our victims. Perfect. All right, then this is going to set this thing to all gas, no brakes, and then we're going to watch the train wreck unfold, literally. So for now, it's just going to work its way up at very high speed to the top of the tower. And it definitely is a very tall tower. It'll be here momentarily. And then they start their descent downwards, where they'll no doubt pick up a lot of speed. And we got a few very tight corners for them to have to navigate like this one. <laughs> There's a lot of weight on those trains. It actually did that. I'm just impressed. And this is all down sloping corners. So we'll see if they survive that. They're having such a good time on this commuter train. And one last 90 degree corner before they go get evaporated somewhere out there. Now, for some reason that I very much approve of, you can actually add piles of boxes to smash trains through. So this is going to turn into actually more of a science experiment. This can be classified as an educational video. 
And look at these eager little beavers waiting to smash through some boxes. Uh, we're going to start them with just three piles of boxes to see how hard they hit and then we'll uh, escalate exponentially from there. And today, things will escalate to the point where this game absolutely breaks. Or my computer does, I don't care which. And the whole time, they're working their way up and down the track, they need to stare at their inevitable fate. They see it coming. Okay, we got three trainloads of children versus a wall of boxes. How is it going to work out? And kablamo. They actually went through that really nicely. And <laughs> the boxes went flying. Is that enough boxes? I mean, it's never enough boxes, but we'll see what happens. I really should just make the train spawn somewhere at the top of the slope, but I really like the feeling of those children watching their doom coming towards them. Or maybe they'll survive, but that's up to them. I'm not the one sitting on the train. Alright, Kester votes now. Will they make it through all 10 layers of boxes? I feel like the train actually slows down there for some reason. Does it auto brake while it plows right on through those? That train does not stop for boxes whatsoever. I do like the swath of destruction, but we can still do better. Because I've learned how to put the boxes even closer together. Which means we get to find out how many boxes equals a homicide. And for a little extra pizzazz, I've added five train cars instead of three. Not sure how I managed to change the train's color, but we've gone ahead and done that. The anticipation is killing me. Also because I've added some carefully placed boosters to help the train move along a little quicker. Alright, here it comes. It's hitting the first boosters. It's definitely going quick. It does seem to slow down there a touch, but we got some more boosters and fireworks. So <laughs> they go on plowing through, the fireworks go off, and the train goes into oblivion. A lot of boxes. Hmm, the game is still completely fine with that, and that annoys me. It's time to escalate once again. You know what, I think we need a little more acceleration at this start too. We're gonna add some boosters to the passenger platform just to make sure they get a good ride. Uh, along with filling my entire slope of mega boosters. I uh, genuinely didn't know this before, but the more times you click on that, the closer together you can put stuff. We can put these things absolutely right together. The problem with that is it's a high stakes game in Jenga, because those things right now I can bump with other objects. Luckily I have the careful hands of a surgeon, so we should be able to put down a lot of these without too much issue. We're probably also long overdue to play with the giant Jenga blocks, so I'm going to add two of those in uh, to, <laughs> to see what that effect that has on my train. Do we think a train can go through that carrying children? We're going to find out. Plus, we get to see if those new boosters make any difference at all. Eh, I'm not sure if they did at the beginning. It might have to be the engine that hits boosters, but we can add them here. Okay, the idiots are incoming now. They're already moving pretty quick. Those boosters should help them along. Yeah, it looks like they're maintaining pretty good speed around there, and they destroy everything, including the big blocks. Those trains really don't stop for anything. We need more blocks. We need a lot more blocks. So what about mega blocks all the way to the border of the map, even beyond? Not sure how many that is, but it's obviously quite a few. They deserve this anyways. Alright, here they come. Let's see how the game enjoys this one. They're coming in hot, round the corner, and smash all the way through. Wow, they keep going and going. Oh, they're slowing down. Are they? The train is unstoppable. It just keeps pushing them out in the blocks. The game actually handled that completely fine. We're going to try really hard to break this one. That definitely gives me a new fun idea. What if we just take a perfectly circular track, add a few carriages, which gently bump the train forward, until we take up roughly half the track, Plus a few gentle little boosters. And then we add a few block towers that might may not explode randomly as we're placing them. Which can look something like this. And then we'll find a place to add some children to the mix because they just ruin everything anyway. But the game definitely is starting to feel a little stuttery already. So let's add a few children that are going <laughs> to move around on their own volition. And we'll place a few under the tower for good measure. That way they're nice and safe. And then I think it's time to start the train moving, and I'm actually glad that block is right there because we're likely to knock down the tower pretty much before doing anything at all, and we'll let the fun train go and kind of see what happens from here. Train is moving full speed all by itself so far, it's only a matter of time before something falls. Depending on how those work, we might be able to accelerate a train into light speed. It's definitely a fast train, I don't know if it's picking up speed or not. Anyways, the next step is putting one of these probably right here on the tracks. Though in the next time the train comes around, it obliterates those blocks, and nothing else went with it. I was hoping for a Jenga effect. Well, they're coming back down, hold that thought. And there we go, now things are gonna start to roll. There we go, another one's taken out. I was hoping to just make a pile of blocks, it would just annihilate the game. Well, we got one over there. Well, I can add more. I'm not sure the children are liking this either. So blocks there we go. Okay, we'll add more blocks again. We're just going to keep stacking these somewhere until the game doesn't like it anymore. There we go. Now it's going to be a tunnel train. <laughs> just plowing through the blocks endlessly. I'm surprised with how well this is holding up so far. It hadn't minded those blocks at all. The children can't be crushed either, so that's disappointing, but that's whatever. We need to do a little experiment to understand speed. Both trains are equal. They're sitting on an equal sized track. This one has boosters. This one does not. The booster train definitely is getting boosted. We'll see if it continually accelerates or not. 
Well, you can see the speed difference for sure. I'm not sure the one continually accelerates, but the boosters make a pretty big difference. By my guesstimation, the boosters double the train's speed. Now, because there's something wrong with me, I've decided we need to see if more boosters equal more speed. We need to explore the very many different ways <laughs> to try and break this game. I think we're onto something here. <laughs> okay, I think we made the train go a little bit faster than it's supposed to. If suddenly the possibilities are endless, we're gonna need some coffee. And it turns out there's an even easier way to do this. You can just stack these up right on top of each other. And now that I've placed what I would call a reasonable amount of boosters, let's see what kind of effect that has on our little train. We're about to hit the boost zone and we're off. <laughs> and we're going pretty quick. <laughs> This is more the speed I find acceptable for my little experiments. That's a <laughs> little dizzying, but I think we get the point. This is a regular train at max speed, and this is my contribution to the game. This is actually so good my brain is on overload for all the stupid things we can do. So we can do things like this, where we can let the train get up to its uh, cruising altitude, we'll call it, and then change the track, <laughs> and it goes that way suddenly. It's just a matter of what we want to put that way. Like a little jump through the block tower. It's gonna be hard to get this both in view. <laughs> there goes the block tower and I have no idea where the train went. It fires like a bullet. Now we're gonna fly the train at light speed into this wall of blocks. I don't know what happened there, <laughs> but it launched and did it at light speed. That's a lot of blocks. Should have saved before I did that. Kind of wish there was a quick reset for all those because that actually takes a lot of time. All right, this time we're gonna get to see when that thing goes off because we just need to reset one of the trains, which I think is this one. And it's going to go off by itself. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that again, but luckily I saved this time. That was still fun. Okay, I'm not sure where the blocks at the end came from, but they turned up. Anyways, we're about to let this go through the mountain of triangles and see how the game's going to like it. Ready, set, go. <laughs> Those hit orbit. That's so much fun. I think we can still make it go a little bit faster, though. Uh, it's just kind of warping a frame by frame at this point, but the game is still handling it fine. It's funny how it started from like an unreasonably fast train to whatever this is. This isn't even belonging in the same reality of us. This thing exists in a different universe at this point. Okay, the even faster train through the triangles. That train stops for nothing. That's like hitting with an absolute bullet. So we should probably try and release it onto some mega track at this point with all that speed. Alright, how fast do you think this little train is going to climb this tower? I would wager pretty fast. Go. <laughs> and all the way up it goes and it's gone. <laughs> It hits light speed pretty quick. Uh, the best part is I can restart that at any old time and we can watch it zoom up the track. Oh, it doesn't pick up its full speed there though. And it actually slows down here for some- oh, because it's not powered anymore. It doesn't power itself. We do need to see if it can make it up and over a hump like this or if it just launches into orbit. It's actually going to be a little bit hard to tell. I think it did follow over the path. Yeah, it actually seems pretty bound by the track there, so it won't launch unless the track abruptly ends. My train looks like helicopter rotors. It just kind of warps through, you just see bits and pieces of it here and there. So let's take this concept and expand to a point where we have lots of room to work with. Then we just need an absurd amount of boosters. And then we'll give it a little test drive to see exactly what that's going to do for us. We went the wrong way, but we got a pretty good boost. Okay, I managed to get the train up to speed. The game doesn't love doing this, but it doesn't have a choice. I'm a little curious to see what happens if we add some uh, passenger cars to this. Oh, the game is not going to love this one little bit. I need to give this a bit of a test to see how it's going to work, so we need to start this train moving. <laughs> okay, it's quickly accelerated up to speed, let's point it straight, and off it goes. Oh, it's looping itself, and slowing down, but it works. Now I just kind of need more track and more boosters. I want like so much track, the game doesn't work anymore. Is that too much to ask? I might have got a little bit more carried away than I realized, but here's the top of the track. I really can't tell you how much fun it is endlessly adding boosters all over this track. And there we go. By the way, I regret nothing. I don't actually know how many boosters are on there, <laughs> but it's a few. Single boosters by themselves just don't give it enough. You need big clusters of boosters. I started the other train on its little light speed journey. Uh, we're going to release it now to see how far it gets before it slows down. That went a long ways, actually. Okay, they just need a bit of warm up time before they slow down. I don't even... Oh, okay, it's all the way up to there. Got up to the other one. That's actually insane how far that went. It does lose some momentum about four rows from the top, which is pretty impressive considering how big this is. I think I've made my point. We'll come back to this one with some fun ideas. This one has a lot of potential.